One rock, one man, one dam. Oh, that's steep. As you can see, I live in New Mexico, the bottom of a mountain. And when it rains, it pours. This diagram is a blueprint for my one rock dam on a 20 degree slope. I used an 11 foot long by three feet wide, which will follow the contour of the hill and match the burlap ground cover. A 24 inch deep by 18 inch wide footing will anchor my dam. Gloves, hammer, measuring tape, level, two pieces of rebar, a hoe that I had to replace, good shovel, and of course a bucket. I have hammered in two pieces of rebar, 11 feet apart, which will work as my grade stakes and keep my digging on track. I hired these young bloods to help me as one rock dams are labor intensive. Checking the grade, getting it down to the grade. Our hole for the footing is dug. It's time to gather and haul rocks for the footing. We lay in the bigger rocks at the bottom. Then keep adding until we make great. Boy, that's got to be heavy. Watch yourself now. That's a heavy load. With the footer in, we do some walking on the footer to tighten it down. It's time to prep the front of the dam for seeding. We now have added steer manure, 211 fertilizer, mixing that into our soil. In this next step, we are wetting down our dam. This will help the seed from blowing away in the wind and will also help germinate the seeds. We mix three parts native grasses and one part native flowers. When grown, they'll help tie the dam together by supporting it through their roots. We have now laid down our jute over our wet seed bed. We now place a rock one at a time on the dam. This will slow the water flow as well as protect the seeds from birds and animals. We start from the bottom up, one rock at a time. By laying down our rock in rows until, voila, the dam is finished. 